Art Basel weekend in Miami, definitely a crazy one, and I wanted to get hype involved. We got some hype merch right here. Axel, who's Axel? Yo, we're about to throw some shoes. You better get loud. We got, we got shoes. Welcome back to the channel. We got a special Art Basel edition episode for you guys. Make sure you wait till the end of the video. We're giving away a pair of shoes. Took a week off from the vlog, guys, but as you know, there's always crazy stuff going down in the store. We got a lot going on today at the store. We still have some of these. We did a crazy deal on Black Friday. We sold a bunch, but we still have a lot. We just had a shit ton at the warehouse, so we decided to do some steals on them. Some guy sent us denim tears, and I was skeptical at first. That's why I didn't pay for it up front. I was like, hmm, price seems a little too good to be true. I checked it, and I was like, I don't know, they look pretty good. And then I started looking at like the details details. It was really hard to check, I'm not gonna lie. They were very close together, but there was a few things. We have uh, right yeah. there, right? There's the one out there, you wanna compare? Yeah. As soon as they came in, I got to comparing them to an authentic pair that we purchased directly from Denim Tears, and turns out they ended up being fake, so we had to send them all back to the supplier. Always check your shit. I got a real pair and a fake pair. I don't even know if you can see this on camera, but the tag, the tag colors are a little different. This one's a little darker green, you see that? This one on the real pairs, you can see they're a lot more rugged on this one. And this one's a little more flat white. This is like, you could actually see the, the rugged material. The strings are different. The real ones are thicker. The wash tag is smaller. They got it really bro. good, Look at, bro. Even the design of the, Dude, the inside of it. It's a little different. Guys, fakes are getting really, really good. It's actually scary. We know ours is real, obviously, because we got it directly from Denim Tears website. And theirs was so close. The craziest part is the dude sent me receipts for it. Like, saying that he got, you can get receipts from anywhere. You could show people that, like, someone else's order, like, of a receipt that you got from someone else. Which one's real, which one's fake? Which one's real, which one's fake? Let me see the tags. Damn, he got it. <laughs> that was pretty good. We got some new essentials. I just brought it to the store. I've been buying any of the new season stuff because this is why. I don't know why essentials made it like this. Even the smaller ones are like weird, bro. What size is this? So this is a small. So it's, all, it's boxy as hell. The sleeves are so short. I don't know, man. It, this is supposed to be a t-shirt. Like this isn't like, anyways, this is the reason why I haven't been trying to carry any of the newer stuff. I literally just got this one style because I know people like this color. I'm gonna see how this actual style of t-shirt sells. This is a regular like cut essentials classic t-shirt. Logo on the front, logo on the back. People love this. And then this is the new one. Cut's really different, I'm not gonna lie. Um, oh, I just saw, this was uh, clean the Zen garden. Oopsie. These are so ugly. <laughs> it's cool to look at, but like, God, bro, I don't know. Imagine putting this on your feet. Crazy. They should have made this cream. If this was cream, it would Facts. not be that bad. I like the blackout, so it's cool. These are insane. The details are crazy. It's indented. And these are super, super limited. First time I see them in person. Whether they're $100 or $5,000, guys, we buy everything in store. Make sure to bring something by. If you guys don't know, Complex, probably the biggest media company in our space and like the pop culture space. They do a bunch of releases there, like exclusive releases. I thought this was one of them. And they had some crazy stuff over there. Gallery department did some Asics. CPFM Denim Tears Levi's collab. They did these jeans, the big ass tab, the big ass Levi's tag, which is sick. So they're fitted. They're actually fitted. So we have to get a few different sizes for everyone. A little bit for everyone. We got the new era denim tears caps, the fitted caps. It's pretty cool. If you like denim tears and you like hats, this is definitely it. They're fitted, like I said, so we have to get a few different sizes. Got the classic stitched wreaths, which is nice. They're not screen printed. Classic denim tears logo on the back. <laughs> Dude, me and hats, bro? Yeah, I don't know. Me too, low key. Like, oh. it's a size eight and a half box. So yeah, it's a size what, eight, from what I understood, size the eight guy, and a half shoe and a size six. Right. So clearly, this is not. A pair, as you can see. Gilly said that he checked every other shoe that are those sizes to make sure they didn't get mixed up. How did this happen, bro? From what I understood, he came in, tried on this left shoe, uh, eight and a half. What? I thought it was an eight and a half left shoe, eight and a half box, and then a mismatch on the other. He tried on left foot, then he came back the next day or whatever and said that the right foot is a different size. Which Completely was... different size. I don't even understand how that's possible. I'll have to run back the cameras and see exactly what happened and then... I ran the back, I mean, brought them out. Obviously, we made a mistake by not checking both shoes, which we a lot of times don't do. Yeah, we need to do that. Including that myself time. and you. Sometimes mismatches slip through the cracks at the store, but the customer came back, we resolved it for him, and even gave him a discount on his next purchase. New shipment, born and raised SBs. That's a big ass size. It's hard to find, size 12, it's a good size. Born and raised Dunks, it's a beautiful shoe. Price went up like crazy, People, the man's crazy, and the dude, Passed away, unfortunately, from born and raised. Really sad, but people love the shoe. Crazy details on the back. The materials are actually pretty good. Doesn't seem like they did too many quality control issues. 
a lot of details here. I like it. Eric Emanuel did a Cyber Monday sale. It's hilarious. He did a Cyber Monday sale for all his leftover stock, basically. He was dropped shorts for a dollar. It was Cyber Monday, but he only did it in store. They had a crazy line at the design district. One of our boys went there. He got these pair of shorts for a dollar. That's crazy. <laughs> a dollar. You guys might remember that big buyout we did a few weeks ago. Well, this is the last remaining box with a bunch of miscellaneous clothing. All right, so apparently we had this box that was lost for a while from the big buyout. If you guys saw that, we did. Finally, it came. Super, super random stuff. I really don't know what's in here. I honestly just said send it all. I'm not sure what to expect. Looks like a bunch of Supreme tees off the rip. Oh, I actually like this one. This one will sell. I really like this one. What else we got? Snoopy Cause Collab. We're probably just going to put it in the store for super cheap, give some steals out to the people. And we're going to sell it here. The Supreme tees do well in general. What else we got? More Supreme tea. This is a crazy one. This is like a the real shit since I don't even know what the hell that says. Purple. I love purple. This is an interesting one. Eric Emanuel Diesel Collab. Very interesting. I've never seen this before. Oh my God, this is terrible. <laughs> Cause striped shirt. This is interesting. Pleasures. I've heard of this brand. We don't carry it here. The babe one obviously seemed to do well here. I think this one will definitely sell. More babe, more babe. This is a crazy one. What the hell? I don't even know what's going on over here. This is a crazy one. This is just a bunch of like budget t-shirts we could throw in the store that would be cheaper than most of the stuff we have. This is better stuff. This is what I like to see. This is the stuff that sells every single day. Can never guess what this shit is, bro. The colorways, they make so many. This is, I think it's a wheat, more wheat. The newer essentials pieces, as you can see, have these big ass logos. The seafoam, more seafoam. Supreme New York bobblehead. <laughs> That's pretty fire, actually, I'm not gonna lie. Damn, what is this colorway? I don't know. This is the coral one. We never had this one, but I actually wanted to try it out. It's a crazy colorway, but I think it'll sell. More eggshell. This is a crazy one, but I think someone that wears Warren Lotus would definitely like this. We got off black essentials, same season, different color. This is the last one, same colorway. So yeah, guys, this is ton of clothes. I was expecting some more shoes that we were missing, but this is just the remainder of the clothes. Like I said, we, we get a ton of different brands in here and especially different styles depending on you know where we get it from. Like I said, this was a buyout that we did in the last video, or two videos ago if you guys saw that. And this is the remainder of it, the remainder of the clothing. So yeah. we also have another special package that I was waiting on for a while. I think I know what it is. We got a very exciting package today. We got some A6 Gallery Department collab right here. I was very excited to see these come in. This is super exclusive. They actually had less than 100 pairs at the Miami store. How many pairs? I think it was like 10 pairs loaded online, so it was crazy. This is a GT2160 model with the Gallery Department, of course, collaboration. Got the paint splatter all over. I love what ASICS has been doing recently. They've been doing a bunch of crazy collaborations, and this is definitely one of them. There, I don't know if I'd be able to wear these, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. These are hitting for almost $1,000 right now, which is nuts. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Art Basel weekend in Miami, definitely a crazy one and I wanted to get hype involved. My buddy actually hit me up with an opportunity to do a crazy giveaway with a bunch of local brands. This was a perfect opportunity to give out some hype merch, make some dope content and meet some cool people. So it's time to get ready for this Art Basel event we have today. I don't really know what to expect. New York looked crazy. Like I said, I'll pop up a video of what they did in New York. I'm actually in the back right now. I'm gonna start picking out some stuff that we're just gonna throw out. Local Miami people are coming through. We got local Miami brands giving away clothes. Got a bunch of t-shirts, some shorts, some hats. Throw them to some people, let's get it. Art Basel, we outside. Pretty sure. Hi, Mercedes. Climb up from here. Basically, just took it. Out. <laughs> All right. I, got it, I, got I didn't know what to expect when I got there. I literally just got on top of a U-Haul. There was like hundreds of people swarming the truck. We just threw out a bunch of merch and a lot of people were happy. I'm glad we made it happen. We got the crazy ass crowd here, here for free shit. What's oh, good? Yo, what the hell? What's good? Oh. We got some hype merch right here. Nothing crazy, you know, our regular shit. The wash shirts, the white shirts. We got some hats. This is Miami, man. You know what I'm saying? Art Basel week. Yo, who's alive? Who's alive? Oh, oh shit. Watch. Big boys, XL, who's the XL? Tats, hats, 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 hats. Who wants a large? Who wants a large? Here we go, one more. What's up? This one's going up high. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Who's getting that? <laughs> 
Who else didn't get close? I want everyone to get close. It's the last one. We want to get loud. We want them to get loud. We're going to throw the t-shirt. my favorite t-shirt right here in the wash. I got the shorts. I got the shirt. I got the hat. The whole fit. The whole fit, baby. Let's lock it in. Yo, we about to throw some shoes. You better get loud. We got, we got shoes. We got shoes. Get loud. You want shoes? Say hype. 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 Throw the shoes. Fighting over that All right, y'all. That's about it. That's grabs some on the U-Haul right now. Mad people showed love. We threw Yo, some we merch. We threw some shoes. Thank you guys. What do you think? Shout out to Hype Miami. We recording, baby. We got Saad, Alan. Alan about to get off the car. Yeah, we're doing it. That, that's a smart way to do it. Let's get it, baby. Yeah, let's get Success. it, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> talk to him. Talk to him. Get it. I was thinking about doing a holiday toy drive for Hype for a while and my friend Griffin hit me up at the perfect time for his Art Basel event. We ran a promo in the store for the first 10 days of December. For every single item we sold in store, we were going to donate a toy to the foundation at Griffin's event. Right now, we are in the car on the way to Kill a Dink's Art Basel event. My friend Griffin, if you guys don't know, he has a pickleball brand, a little promo we did at the store. We're donating a toy for every single item that's sold. I actually haven't checked yet, to be honest. So we're pulling into five below. I don't even know how many toys we're buying. I'm looking forward to it, you know, have some fun. I'm excited to play pickleball. I actually never played before. <laughs> just checked the report on Shopify. Looks like it was just under 150 items the first week, which was uh, not bad. Usually the first week of December is actually slower compared to the rest of the month. We're just gonna get a bunch of toys and see what we got. This is a pretty bare buy below. I I'm just gonna start grabbing. Shit. We need like 150 toys or something. Dude, they're gonna love this. Tower tumble? This is gonna be great. A few of those. <laughs> get three of them. Gag. <laughs> Are we sure we're at five below? Boom, hella plush toys. That's a fire gift. Yeah. That's a fire like yeah, thing to get. Get a bunch of those for sure. Yo, this place is underrated. Whoa, whoa. 595. I think I am. Bezos? It's $25. They're literally scammers. Gary, are we good, you think? About 60. We only have 60? All right, we gotta keep going. Yeah, we should get some paints. Yeah, definitely. Hello, fidget spinners, man. That's lit. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, that's, those? that's fire. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. All right, guys, so we filled up three full carts of toys. So we got probably well over 100 toys, probably almost like 200, honestly. Bring them to the event. Let's get it. All right, All right. cashed out. Got a bunch of toys. About to drop these off. Have a good time. Let's get it. We filled up the car to the brim with toys and we're on the way to the event to give them all away. All right, guys. So we have arrived. We're at the yards in Hialeah right now. We got all the toys in the back. About to drop them all. Fire, right? Yeah. That's a Five that, that's, that's toys. I literally said that's the best That's the best toy we got for sure. We just dump it all right here or what? Yeah. All right, let's do it. We're going to just drop them in right here, I guess. I'm here with, what? you're the chief dink officer, yeah, right? I'm so proud of my son. The real chief. The real CEO, baby. This is awesome. You guys crushed it. No, you guys crushed Next it. generation. We filled the Lambo with toys, and now it's time to play some pickleball. It's like a whole indoor pickleball. Oh, there's, there's, look at that. There's f***ing sports up there. This is crazy. This is cool. Oh, yeah, damn. this is sick. We're about to win or what? Dream team, right? All right, dream team. Let's get it. You, got, you better back up. <laughs> if you score, you switch. So I think it was a great success. Dude, I didn't expect you to fill up the entire Lambo. This is crazy. Got probably like 500 toys right here at least. Everyone showed out, showed love. On to the next. What are we doing next? 2024. We gotta do it bigger. Bigger and better. Thanks for having us. Peace out, brother. I'm super proud of my friend Griffin. It was a great turnout for his event. If you guys want to check out his company, I'm going to link it below, and we're doing a special giveaway. Thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode, guys. We're giving away the Miami Dolphins dunks. I'm going to pop up a picture. They're not even released yet, so make sure you follow all the instructions. But we're also giving away one of the paddles that you guys saw at the pickleball event. So there's going to be one extra step. We'll see you guys next week.